Wireless Penetration Testing for Ethical Hackers. My name is Jason Dion, and I'm going to be your instructor as we dive in to wireless hacking for penetration testers. My background is in conducting penetration testing in large enterprise network environments. I have nearly a decade of experience teaching cybersecurity and IT certification courses, all the way from A through CISP and CEH. The course overview. So what are we gonna learn in this course? First, we have installation and setup. This is where we're gonna create our penetration testing platforms, which include Kali Linux and NetHunter. Then we're gonna move into some concepts and reconnaissance. We're gonna learn the theory so that we can begin using information gathering techniques and figure out exactly what networks are around us and how to change and hide our MAC address. Next, we're gonna go into web security. We're gonna set up a web access point and then crack it using some brute force attack tools. Next, we're going to move into WPA and WPA2 security, which is what is considered modern security in wireless networks. We're going to attack those networks with a dictionary attack to find our way through, and then we're going to move into WPS. And WPS is interesting because we're still able to use brute force techniques and crack any WPS network out there, both in Kali Linux as well as in NetHunter. Now, one big disclaimer before we start the course. This course is designed for defensive purposes only. The skills you're being taught in this course are to be used in valid, authorized, and agreed upon penetration testing environments only for ethical hacking activities for the target organization. What does that mean? It means you should not be using this to hack into your neighbor's wireless networks. You should not be using this to do anything illegal or unethical. Before you do these techniques on a network, it should be a network that you own, as in you've bought in the access point, you're paying for the internet access, and you have set it up, or you have a valid scope of work and contract with a company to attack their network. If you don't have either of those two things, you could be breaking the law in your country. So make sure you're doing things ethically and within the bounds of the law. The second thing I want to bring up is a requirement for a packet injection capable card. Before you can conduct these attacks, you must have a wireless adapter that supports packet injection. It also needs to be supported by Kali Linux. Now, the card I'm going to use in this course is called the Alpha Networks NH36 USB adapter. They run about $30 to $40 online. You can find them at Newegg, you can find them at Amazon or eBay or any other great online retailer. They are an excellent card and one of the ones that a lot of penetration testers are going to use out in the field because they're reliable and they work well. You don't have to have this particular card to do the things in this course, but you do need to have one that is recognized by Kali and does support packet injection.